Hey, it's a DM Monet, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new to the Hey, it's Adia Monet and I'm back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And also, turn on post notifications so you can be notified of my next post. Y'all see, it's been so long that I almost forgot my intro. Like, that's crazy. It's been a month. I have no excuse. Like, I was doing stuff. And, like, the stuff I was doing, I could have vlogged or could have recorded. And I had videos planned, but it's just was filming it so as you can tell by the title today's video is a get ready with me this was a very you know impulsive idea i was like why not vlog this today i'm going to sankofa it is hosted by my school's native african organization and you know you gotta dress up, look cute. It's kind of like a ball. So everybody's gonna be wearing dresses, heels, and looking cute. So I was like, yes, this is like going out type thing. So that's why, you know, it says get ready with me for a night out. This is my night out. And I'm trying to pop out because that's what we do all the time. So what I have to do is my hair, my face, Y'all already know I wear mascara and lip stuff. That's it. I don't do any makeup. So, yeah. But I still be taking long like I wear makeup anyway. But, yeah. It starts at 6 o'clock. And right now, it is like 3 something going on 4. Doors close at 7. So, I'm probably a little late. Probably not going to get there by 6. Probably 6.30. But we'll see. I have my outfit picked out. I'm going to show you guys that before I get started on my hair and stuff but yeah i'm really excited but i don't have a coat to match my outfit i'm about to throw on a little jean jacket i'm about to be really cold and i'm gonna put a scarf on yeah because the scarf matches the color in my bag so yeah you know i went home got the dress <gasps> oh my god i don't even have a mask oh my i forgot it was a masquerade i forgot it was a masquerade Oh well. I'm gonna show you guys my hair inspiration because I want to do something different with my hair. I want to do uh, one of Coyle Ray's styles. I love how she styles her hair all the time. So one of her styles, it's really cute. I'm gonna show you guys later on in the video, but I'm gonna attempt to do that. That doesn't go right. We're gonna we're gonna bun it up. We're gonna bun it up because what else we gonna do? But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then we're gonna start getting ready okay y'all so my outfit is laid out right here on a bed and i'm gonna show you everything so first off is my bag i'm going for an orange and brown and gold look you know real cute real fall vibes you know what i'm saying next up i almost dropped that next up is the shoes my toes gonna be out and it's gonna be cold but listen here i ain't have nothing else these heels they look a little weird off the foot but when i put the foot on when I put the foot in, it's gonna look cute. And by Jessica Simpson, gotta take the, oh, I gotta take the tag off the bottom. Then the jewelry, since it's right here. So we wearing gold jewelry, I got these squiggly earrings that I took from my mother. You know, the real one shopping in mom's closet. Got some rings, you know what I'm saying? My watch and my Adia Monet um bracelet i love this bracelet haven't worn it in a while so yeah and then i have some more earrings in my ear this one is like a small hoop and a stud and then over here i have two small hoops this one is a dangly one you know some uh variation now for the dress so cute so, you know one shoulder dress it makes me look like I got body, you know what I'm saying? And this is the bottom. The bottom of the dress has ruffles. Is this ruffles? Yeah. And it's really cute. Where is it from? Where is it from? Oh, it's from ASOS. I got this uh, two years ago because this was my graduation dress. But nobody saw it because I had the graduation gown on. So, y'all yeah, was like, let me pull this back out because I only wore it one time. And I didn't, I didn't go anywhere in it. Yeah, that's the outfit. I like it, but I don't, like I said, I don't have a, 
I don't have a coat to go with it. So, and hopefully the little hairstyle goes with it well. Also, I'm about to have my toes out and my toes are not done. I don't, and my fingernails is not done. Like, I don't be getting my nails done often at all. Only if it's like a special occasion. Like, next time I get my nails done, it's gonna be my birthday, which is next month. But yeah, but my toes and my fingers aren't ugly. So that's why I don't really mind that they're not done. As long as they're trimmed down, then we good. We green. Now we're about to go get into my hair. Um, I might talk through it a little bit because, you know, I want to talk in, a, um, in the hallway because my sweet mate is over there. Yeah, so we're like, who is she talking to? But yeah, let's get into the hair. Then we're going to do the face outfit. Yeah, I'm going to try to take pics today. All right, y'all. It is time to start the hair. And the hairstyle I was inspired by is Coyla Ray's cute little four bun hairstyle. I really loved it when I saw it on Instagram. And I was like, yo, I have to do this. So I'm going to walk you through what, what I do. And yeah. Mind you guys, this is not really a tutorial, but if you do want to know how to do it, you know, here y'all go. So first, I'm starting off by parting my hair down the middle, you know, so I can have the back section for the one bun and the front section for the three buns. I also made sure that I did this on stretched hair so that I could get the best results. So as you can see, I'm separating my hair into the three sections in the front so that it would be easier for me to, you know, go about doing my hair and, you know, brushing it out, all that stuff. It's already moisturized and everything. So the only thing I needed to do was put edge control and a little bit of water on my hair so that, you know, the edge control wouldn't be um, really caked up in my hair and white and stuff you know how edge boost it gets but yeah this hairstyle is pretty straightforward um the rest of it is going to be a little time lapse of you know what i had to do to achieve this hairstyle hopefully you guys like it and you know you can try this if you want to it's very cute very bold and i got a lot of compliments on this hairstyle so i would recommend you know wearing it out <laughs> After you get the ponytails how you like them, you're just going to wrap each of them into a nice little bun. If you want to make them messy or curly how she had them in the picture, you could probably do, you know, braid out, twist out, but I didn't do that obviously. And now I'm just going to do my edges because, you know, the edges have to be popping all the time and that's about it. I'm going to tie it down when I'm finished. And that's going to be the look.
y'all so i just finished my hair and you know as you can see it's really cute i like it it's very different yeah now i'm trying to do my you know mascara fix my eyebrows up put my my um jewelry on i already got my necklace on you know i keep this on i wish i could have talked to y'all while i was you know doing that but like bro while i was with my hair my sweet mate came out twice like you never come out but you want to come out now you want to come out now so while i get ready i'm gonna talk to y'all we're gonna catch up so yeah okay so we here with it y'all like my savage x fenty um robe you guys know i had to get my purple robe like what the sunlight is actually looking really cute in here i wish my window was kind of facing more towards the sun because kind of like on a side like that i know my sweet mate she probably gets all the sun in there because her window is like opposite of mine so like if you go through the wall her window right there anyway yeah so let's put on this jewelry and what should we talk about we should talk about why i haven't been uploading right because i was back i was being consistent and everything but then i just stopped and that's because i don't know i was just doing a lot like i knew what videos i wanted to post like i wanted to do a fall essentials video i still want to do that dang why would this go in I still want to do that video. I have, I just have to do my research first. Because, you know, I can't just be on here talking and, like, my stomach. Did y'all hear that? She said I'm ready to eat. But I can't be on here talking and, like, barely know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. And I also wanted to do a, uh, a fall lookbook video. Oh, that's cute. But, um... I just felt like I didn't want to do it because I don't have any new clothes as of right now. And, like, I know I can mix and match my clothes. Like, I do it every day here. And I have a limited amount of clothes. Like, I can't bring everything from my house, you know? And even when I do lookbooks at home, I've been taking stuff from my mom's closet, dad's closet. Like, it just makes everything better. But, like, right now, I just feel like I don't have enough clothes to do a lookbook. Well... A lookbook with clothes that y'all haven't seen because like all of these clothes here y'all probably seen at least every piece once or twice maybe three times but i style it a different way and like how long am i gonna keep doing that for like i need more clothes and i have not gone shopping because i'm a broke college student and i just started back working because i wasn't working since august and I've been doing DoorDash and stuff. DoorDash only gives you but so much money. And then with YouTube, it's like, YouTube, their paying is so like, um, yeah, I can't think of words right now. So inconsistent because like, you need a hundred dollar threshold in order for you to get paid out. And if you don't make a hundred dollars that month, you not getting paid or the month before that because you get paid for the month before so like in november i would get paid for october you know what i'm saying yo we gonna eat like <laughs> we gonna eat so i don't know i've been trying to come up with alternative videos to do and then i just ran out of content ideas and i can admit i could have done a lot of stuff um besides you know the uh lookbook video because in october i went to um morgan state i went back to morgan and i also went to the poconos and last weekend i just went to the dream mall and went shopping i could have did that as a video i went style i styled my brother for his birthday I could have made that a video, but I definitely should have vlogged when I went to Morgan State's um, pep rally. But I was just like, you know, by the time I thought of that, I was already in Baltimore. And I was like, if I was going to do that video, I should have started when I was in Jersey. And then, you know, do the road trip, get in there. Like, it was just would have, it wouldn't have hit like I wanted it to. So that's why I didn't um, film. And then I was like, 
I'm gonna be at this pep rally trying to film it and it's just mad copyright music like what would that video even be like it would be boring or it wouldn't be as lit because I would have to like put non-copyright music over almost everything because whenever they dance it's to regular music and you can't play that on YouTube because I will get demonetized but it was fun like I don't know. And then Poconos, like, I definitely could have vlogged that. But then again, like, no, because I went and I went to Kalahari, right? And um, who's, who's vlogging in the water park? I put my phone right in that locker because I don't have time. Apple want me to get a new phone so bad. They be glitching that phone up. Listen, if it's not broke, then it's still going to work with me. So today, I was like, you know... I'm gonna be cute, blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, oh, vlog it. Vlog it, do it, get ready with me because you need content to post like, and I know y'all be missing me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. But speaking of going on Morgan, when I went, like, I kind of missed it. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, I know I left. I know the reasons why I left. I did a whole video on it, but like, you know, my major department is better here but i don't know it's just like there's nothing wrong with the school i can't complain about anything in this school like my dorm is nice i like how i have my own space i like how i have my own bathroom even though i share it with one person and it's not dirty in here it's very clean like the dorm hall is not bad this is one of the nicer ones on campus the campus is pretty cute um my classes are okay and you know since you're in state resident you know you have more benefits than being an out-of-state um student and that's what i was at morgan so you know of course you got to pay more so now that i'm here i don't have to pay as much but i don't know i just miss hbcu culture like you know growing up i've always been i've always went to school with majority black and hispanic people so like and then like my my senior year senior year of college my senior year of high school like i went to a more diverse school but it was still majority black so like now i just be like and this is a very diverse school don't get me wrong like yeah it don't seem like a pwi sometimes but then sometimes you get reminded like girl you're at a pwi and i'd be like and I roll my eyes at that because I know what I wanted for myself. Like this was a fallback option if anything went wrong with my first choice. And Morgan wasn't even my for first choice. I think Howard was my first choice, but then when I visited Howard, I didn't really like it like that. So that's why I went to Morgan. Cause it seemed nice and stuff. And I remember my senior year of college, I really did not want to go. I did not want to go here. But I was just like, you need a college to go to in Jersey if something happens. And I always, like, my dream was to either go to school in New York because, you know, who doesn't want to go to school in New York? Like, but it's mad expensive. That's the reason, like, I didn't go. Um, but I wanted to go to, like, a, a fashion school in New York and, like, um, you know, dorm in a city, like, that sounds so amazing. It's an alternative to paying rent and living in New York. You know, you dorm in New York, get the feel, get the vibe. And then I would be able to see whether or not like, oh, would I want to live in New York later on in life? Because I always said I wanted to live in New York. But, girl, it's expensive. So my dream was to go to school in New York or go to an HBCU. My dream of going to school in New York was first but then it switched when i learned about hbcus and what that was probably like a junior year and i was like y'all i want to go to hbcu i want to go to howard i want to go to howard so bad and i still want to go to hbcu i want to graduate from hbcu because i just feel like as a black person like you should take pride in graduating from an hbcu and stuff like that's what i really want for myself just to be able to say that I'm an HBCU graduate. And I know it doesn't matter. Like some people be like, nobody cares what school you went to 10 years from now. Like nobody even talks about college. 
nobody cares like when you go to work nobody cares what what um college you came from unless it's like a ivy league school or your school like you have connections to your school like oh uh, say your your boss is a morgan state alumni then they might you know give you some brownie points and stuff like that but other than that nobody really cares and i'm like okay that's true nobody really does care about college anymore 10 years from now like when i'm 30 who's thinking about college but it doesn't it doesn't matter that nobody talks about college it's that i know how my college experience went i know where i went i know how i wanted my college experience to go and it didn't go that way so i don't i didn't want to like regret anything and that's how i feel about being here like i'm a junior and i'm gonna be a senior next year and when i graduate i'm not even gonna be like that excited to graduate from here like i don't have any school pride like i don't have any school apparel like when i was at morgan i had a i didn't have that much but like I worked in a bookstore and I used to want everything in there. I used to want all the clothes. I bought some sweatpants. I had a shirt, the socks, it was the socks. I had the uh, uh, the other shirt, like, and I would have brought so much more because, you know, just wearing that stuff, it's just like, mm-hmm. I don't have none of that stuff here. Like, I don't even care to buy the stuff because I don't, I don't have pride that I go here. I don't really, it just feels like, I'm going to school now. Like, I'm just existing here. I go here. I'm going to graduate. And that's just that. And I don't want to feel like that. Like, I want to be proud of where I go. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm overthinking it too much. But y'all probably like, why is she taking so long to put this mascara on? I like my eyelashes to look dramatic since I don't wear lashes. Yeah, and then when I graduate, I'm be like, yeah, I'm going to I'm not going to be sitting up and screaming from the mountaintops. I went to Montclair City University. Like, no. I'm not going to be doing that. But if I went to HBC, you, I would definitely, yo, I will flex my school until I am 54. Like, what? So I've been trying to figure out, do I want to transfer again? Or am I just going to stay here? Because, I don't know, I had my reasons for leaving Morgan. And I was like, I did say, I remember Dude saying that if I didn't, like this school i might as well go back there because i know that they're gonna take my credits and i already know some people there like i don't have od friends there at all but i know some people there and i wouldn't be completely starting over but the the um downfall is my major program is not that great over there so i don't really keep cheating myself like your education is more important than the experience i guess because that's what you're really there for. But yeah, I don't want to cheat myself out of a good fashion program. So I was looking into schools that have um, that have good fashion programs that are HBCUs. And the ones that do have it are um, Morgan. Well, no, Morgan has a, a um, fashion program, but yeah, I already knew that. Delaware State. Virginia State, Clark Atlanta, and NCAT. The only close ones here is Delaware State and Morgan State. Lincoln doesn't have my major. Who's going to Virginia? I don't want to go to Delaware. I don't want to go to Atlanta. So my last resort was NCAT, but like, that's so far. Uh, but like that school looks like it's so lit. Like everything just looks so nice, but you know, I don't know. I don't know, bro. You gotta go to, the, you gotta go there and look at it because obviously they're gonna flex everything nice about the school. So you have to go and visit and see what's up with it. But I don't know, like I'm very conflicted with what I want to do with my life regarding school. What would be the point of transferring senior year? 
like really but at the end of the day at least you did it at least you got what you wanted like you got to experience it instead of being you know not miserable but just not content with the decision you're you're um living out right now yeah that's what i have to say about that i don't know i have a lot of more i have a lot more thinking to do a lot more research to do and yeah we'll see what happens i just wish i could start college over i feel like we got jet to like how i leave college a freshman and come back a junior like i'm about to get out of here i'm about to leave like that's not fair like they didn't have to go through a pandemic like all these all these, the president did not have to go through a pandemic and nobody else had to go through a pandemic in college. They want to live their best life. You know how parents, they be like, and college was the best. Like, college, I had the time of my life. <clears throat> but we got to be in quarantine for a big chunk of it. Like, we missed the whole, y'all. We missed a big chunk. We went to school for one semester and a half. We had to leave school in March, like March 10th. A whole rest of that pandemic. That is not fair at all. Like, at all. Okay, we done with the, we done with the lashes. We done with the lashes, girl. I wanna brush my teeth again. I brushed them this morning, but you know, when you're going out, you want to brush your teeth again before I put all of this on. Because I just want to have a fresh breath. You don't want people in your face and it smell like all day stale chips and, you know? Yeah. So that was more of a, like, a, a real talk. Because, you know, I like to, I like to, you know be funny and make y'all laugh sometimes but i don't know i just felt like i needed to talk about that because why not chit chat get ready with me even though y'all not here just low-key talking to myself but so i'm about to go brush my teeth should i bring y'all with me why are my eyelashes connecting go. should i bring y'all with me yeah y'all gotta see every step of the way or actually, because I don't have to put y'all up back here. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all, and I'm back. Fresh teeth. I forgot something. I wanted to put this on. Don't mind the brand. I don't wear makeup. Walmart. I wanted to put this in the corner of my eyes. I don't have no brush either. Can I do it with my, my fingers? Yes. I'm using this shimmery gold color because I'm wearing gold. Oh. Last time I did this, I used silver and it was really cute. So I was like, let me, let me do this. Hopefully it'll look cuter when I um, put everything together, put everything on. Because right now, it's blending in with my skin. We're going to add a little bit of like this lighter beige. Okay. That's kind of cute. Oh my gosh. Do I look like a clown? Baby, you're the baddest. Baby, you're the baddest girl. Oh, I need to play that song. And I'm gonna make me some TikToks. I'm gonna do that. Got a few better now for me, you know. <laughs> I have to do that TikTok because I've been looking crazy when I when I be trying to do it. Cause you know all the girls they be dressed up and I be like, where am I going? I look like every day. So I don't look like every day today. And it's different. It's gonna be different because you know. Yeah, it's just gonna be different. I just didn't give me the baddest. Give you the baddest girl. The baddest girl. 
Cause I'm a jealous. This city is my. But I love them cause I want she and she and she and they love them to me. I ain't they gonna say I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. It's five something. The place, the thing starts at six. Doors close at seven. But I don't wanna be super early. Nobody's gonna be early because it's held. It's held by black people and nobody's ever early. They're always late. They'll be there at 8. And they said doors close at 7. Like, time for the lips. Time for the lips. I love this lip liner. Like, I used to get the roll-up one. Because I used to have this, um, this sharpening one. The pencil. And it, it went too fast. But this one is by Ruby Kisses. And it's so soft. Like, it goes on my lips so soft and smooth. And, like, perfect. Like, I used to be struggling with the other pencil, with the roll-up one. Like, this one is just amazing. And it's really dark. This is the color. What color is this? I don't know. Oh, black brown. I didn't get dark brown. I got black brown because I like it dark. I'm over here talking about how nicely it goes on. And I over there on my lips real quick. Oh yeah, um, y'all know how some people like they be overdrawing their lip. I tried that one time with lipstick, you know, when I was younger, cause I was like, I have enough lips already. I don't know, you know, why I decided to do that. You know, trial and error. Y'all, I look like a clown, and then it, and it just feels wrong up there. Like it just feels like a kid put your lip gloss, your lipstick on. I don't know how people deal with that. And also, when y'all do this, like, if you want to do a lip liner look, you got to make sure your lips is dried in a Popeye's biscuit. Because if it's not, then it's not going to go on right. First of all, the color won't show up as dark as you want it to. And then it'll just be sliding all over the place. There we go. Then I take this, you know, darkish pink pigment. I used to just do a shade like this, but I like how this looks with it. Like, my lips are already pink, but I like this. Gives it a little mm. And I try not to mush them together because you don't want, you want it to like, unless you like that look, but I like to see the, the, the line. Unless you like that ombre looking look. But you know, you don't want it to smear together, and then lip gloss. And there we go. I love this lip gloss right here, it's so nice. Like, I'll pay that extra 99 cent for it <laughs> because. You know, Broadway lip gloss is nice. I like it too. This is one of my favorites, the Argan Oil one. But this, it'd be leaving your lips a little tingly, like it's doing something for real. Everything is done. Face is done. Time for the fit. Ah! Time for the fit. Actually, before the fit, we're going to put the jewelry on. Well, just the watch and the, um, and the bracelet. And I taught myself how to put on my own bracelet because there's going to be a point in life where you are single and living alone and there's nobody put your jewelry on for you so you gotta learn how to do it yourself i'll be struggling a little bit that's okay because it gets on we're going to struggle right now but i bet you i'm gonna get it on all right because <laughs> this this is looking making me mad now alexa what time is it the time is 5 26 p.m Ooh, have a good evening. You too, girl. All right, because now you're doing it on purpose. Like, now you're doing it on purpose. Yo, like, am I tripping? That's too freaking loose, but whatever. We got it on. That's, that's just how it's going to go. Got 
right on. Now it's time for the fit. That just stressed me out. And I like it hanging anyway. That's how I wear it, but I wanted it a little tighter. But now we're gonna get into the clothes. fit on i'm gonna go out in the hallway so y'all can see the whole thing because the room is not big enough for you to see my shoes and stuff and put the bag on i put my rings on and stuff i wish my nails were done should i cut them down i think i might cut them down so it can look a little more manicured but i think i'm gonna really like my look like the hair is giving what it's supposed to get so yeah let me take you guys out in the hall so you can see what my outfit looks like Okay, my hair, yo. All right, let's take this off because it's like five something, probably like 545. I still have to pack my bag though because I'm going home. Ooh, yay. I'm gonna spray it with some oil sheen so it can be shiny. Hold on. so pretty i better wear best dress like so yeah yo i look like i'm going on a date i would definitely wear this hairstyle on a date i like bold hairstyles so yeah a hairstyle that nobody else would do i'll do it but look how cute the earrings are like giving you know, got the multiple. I'm loving it. And this dress is living. It's getting me. Oh, it's getting me body body. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, should I pack my orange crocs? Yes. Yes, because I'm not packing flip flops. Like, I'm going to pack my orange crocs. And we're going to. I'm not going to vlog the event because. I don't want to. I think this video was pretty good like this. I'm really obsessed with my look. And then it's like the brown and then like it goes because this like goldish part right here matches my gold jewelry as well as my gold shoes. And yeah, I definitely like, yo, I really had to take pictures. Somebody had to take my pictures. And then like this, like you can't really tell that I have it. When you see in person, it low-key makes me look like I have makeup on, and I don't. I don't like makeup for real. But, yeah, I'm about to start doing this look more often. I should have did a tutorial on my hair, but y'all saw me do it. Alright, let me know how y'all feel about my look. Is it a... I think it's a 10 out of 10. Y'all let me know. Y'all feeling my dress? Y'all feeling my, my purse with the... Y'all feeling the hairstyle? Are y'all feeling the hairstyle? Shout out to Koi because Koi's hairstyles be like that. And I just be taking them because they cute. That's all for today's video. It was really fun. You know, I haven't really gotten dressed up to go out in such a long time. Especially like this. Like this is getting date night and I haven't gotten dressed up like this in a minute. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can be notified of my next video. And share this video with a friend. Help me get to 6K because we're on the road to 6K. Like, it's happening fast. So, yeah, hopefully we get to 6K by New Year's. 
because last year I was like, get me the, what was I trying to get to? 3K for my birthday? And it just didn't happen. Yeah, or was it 2K? I don't know. But hopefully by New Year's we could get to 6K and, you know, halfway to 10K. So that's a, that's a good thing. Let me know what you guys think about my look. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.